So Amphia says this one might be very annoying to pull off, so like very precise. A little bit too specific for a showcase challenge, so I'm assuming it's going to showcase something interesting. It's a door on a farm, round 97, 220k. You can sell, and the balloons are a little slower. First off, I'm pretty sure I need level 20 Adora, so we're gonna first get level 7 Adora, and then we're gonna sacrifice the minimum farm mount to get us to level 20. So let me just first try with Anomics. That's probably overkill, I'm assuming. Yeah, way over the level 20. Let me try a cheaper upgrade. How about a Wall Street sack? Uh, almost level 20. So if I cross path that, like, I'm pretty sure I'll make it like a, a 015. Let's try that. Okay, so now what I'll do is I will sack the 015 to get level 20, and... Uh, well, we'll just wait the cooldown for level 20 door. Also, if you keep sacrificing, you should gain 10% attack speed. So, I'm just gonna keep dropping new farms like this to gain attack speed for her. Do that every every time the blood sack is up. And then let's use the ball light. Basically a permanent 10% attack speed. Is that right? So let's see, first ball light will not kill the first UMG. Now we gotta wait half the cooldown. Or alternatively, I could sell it, because I think that only used up half our money. So what if I just, you know, sold the Dora, got back level 20, you know, with the Wall Street and all that. That's another thing I'm thinking of. That might allow me to get three ball lights, because right now I'm only gonna get two. Like, ball light number two. Fast forward. We... I think we do get the first one, right? No. Not quite. But I I'm pretty sure I need three... Three balls of light abilities. Well, I'm just gonna first try the Adora selling. So now we're gonna relocate Adora. So first start off at the very top, get level 20, and get ready. So I keep sacking first. Yeah, I keep sacking now. It's fine. First ball light. And yeah. The moment it times out, I gotta buy resell Adora quickly. So I'm gonna use one more sack, and then I'm gonna get the Wall Street 015. And then get ready. When is the timeout? Now? Level 7, and then quickly, Blood Sack. Cool. Let's see if we can get 3. I'm gonna leave her on first, because Ball Light, I'd rather her target first, obviously. Do this, Ball of Light, level 3, that should easily kill the first one. Good. Good. 10 more percent. The thing is, I don't think it's close enough, though. I did stall, like, 2 seconds, not using the ability, but I don't think it's enough to make a difference. Because this is already way too far, way too far back. Yeah, see this? I need I need to find a way to get the cooldown up faster somehow. I'm not sure there's any way to manipulate that. So it's easy to find, but apparently hard to pull off because only one person won out of 52. I have not yet found a gimmick. Let me just think. I'm just going to play slowly and then maybe if I have an epiphany, that'd be nice in between. Here's one thing I could do. I could sell early. Maybe I just need the third ability faster. Like, even though I'm not using the full duration of the first one, it's whatever. It's whatever. There we go. So now we get a little early this time, which is always epic. Does the damage buff uh, improve the money of the sack thing? No. It could just be sacrificing anything, and you gain the 10% attack speed. Yeah, you see, even though I got it faster, it's still... Like, I sold pretty early. That's, like, not even... No way that's gonna work out. So, the ball light beam does damage. If that's the case, then I think Adora placement matters. Like, hold on. Let me just play the round first with, a uh, level 20 door on the right side. So I think the solution is just, you only have to use two ball lights, but, and you might not, not even have to sell Dora, but you just have to put it in the right place. So let me just see. So how does the ball light, like, what is it? Okay, it goes around Adora. Yeah, that's definitely placement then. The first Adora probably has to be, like, in the top right corner, so that the beam does damage to Zoom G number two as well. Alrighty. I think we have something. You know what I'm thinking? It's probably Adora on the right side for number one, and then Adora on the left side for number two. So she's targeting the fortified Zoom G, and then the little beam kills the insides too. So that said, let's begin. 015, play. Alrighty, so I can leave on the first because it's going to intersect. There we go. And we just keep on sacrificing. See that? I, I can't tell how much damage- oh, it is doing a lot of damage. It's already, like, you see the damage- damage, of uh, arcs. It's there. So, last sack, and then 0 and 5. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage, holy crap. So, let's get ready to sell. Now, I guess I can wait to use the ability, so it's okay putting it in the bottom- bottom left corner, like this. 
Stop. And continue. Hopefully this is good. So it should be on last line, right? Yeah, it should be on last. Sure, right? Sure. So sacrifice, and then let's uh start dropping farms. I'm not going to use level 3 until uh the ZMG insides are there. Actually, targeting last is a bad idea. No, no, it's fine. I can ch I can switch change targeting, and ball light will not change targeting. It's locked whatever, you know, you start Adora with. Whatever targeting she's with. So, sacrifice. Do I want a ball light now? Yes. Yes. And I'll put her back one first. Wait, what? Oh, crap. It's targeting the back ZMG. Balloon spawn, spawn backwards, guys. So now we beat the first part. Just kidding. Adora can't handle the first part by herself. It might still be okay to put Adora on the right side for number two as well. Like, leave it on first both times. So let me try that next. Alright, so we're gonna put Adora... Let's see. Should I put her above the uh, the bottom track or below it? Let's just put Adora here to start. A little slow, but it's whatever. Actually, I think it's way too low. Whatever. We'll we'll find a way. I have a feeling both ZMGs are gonna pop. I wonder, actually, do, do, does, does a BM and the point itself do the same amount of damage? Kind of curious. Either way, we are going to ball a light once I feel like they're going to intersect, so now it's good. Let's go. Popped at the same time. Come on. Oh, I definitely used it way too late. So we're going to put a door number two, like, up here then. Up here. Alright, so sell... Now. Level seven here. Good. Sacrifice. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I'll make sure to save the level, level 3 ability. I want it to be the insides, not for the zoom G. The Zom Glare. So, Ball Light now is probably good. Yep, they're intersecting. Level 3 when? When turns to Moabs. Now. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. We're... Not dead. Okay. Nice. That actually wasn't as precise as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if that was perfect, but it was pretty damn... Well played, I think, and executed. Either way, good challenge, because I... Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that those little things, like, you know, ball light speam does the same amount of damage, actually, as whatever it's pointing on itself. That's actually a new thing now that I know, that I didn't know before. So that's a great challenge, thanks to the showcase. This one is just a random one I found from the challenge browser. This is an impossible challenge by free gold. Very low win rate. Only 3 and 1.2k. And what is it? It's round 76, guys. Very original. But I'm going to play it because it looks kind of interesting. It's one tower with selling. Um, Rigor rate's a little bit high. Storm HP is a little bit high, too. And a bunch of random restrictions. Let's see what order of towers we want to get. So first off, do I have any anti-regrow? I have a Grow Blocker Village. I have uh, a Druid. So why don't I start with the Druid and then see where to go from there. Probably not the solution, but... Let me just try. 220 Heart of Oak. Mm, there's no way it does enough, right? It got most of it, but you can drop a new one, maybe. It's too unreliable, I'm pretty sure. Like, it, yeah, the lightning is like, it's kind of random, isn't it? So, it, it would take too much luck to land on the uh, all the ceramics. I have a sniper. How much can that one shot before I die? 302. Let's just go. I know it's not going to work, but, I mean, one can always dream, right? Hmm, I wonder if a glue strike would do something. Or do I have a permafrost? I do not have a permafrost ice. Only a base. Zero, zero, zero. How long does 042 glue last? I'm kind of curious if that would help with anything at all. First off, the ability takes too long to drop, so that ain't it. Let me just see, though. Any closer? Probably not. The glue does last a really long time, though. But alas... Mm, it's actually pretty close. Why don't I just, uh... Blow back. Oh, right, I don't have enough money, right? I sell for zero dollars. Right. But how about I, I do this, then? I start with this, and then... I have enough money for more blowbacks. And then get sniper back. But I don't think it's gonna work, because there's still too many ceramics. By the last bend. Yeah, that's too much. Like, let me just show you. Um... It was close, but I don't think that's... It didn't blow back enough, which is the problem. Okay, I'm thinking about something here. Let me try a top path glue, glue strike. So, 
I'm not sure what this is going to turn the Serums into. But let me just see. It's probably going to regrow it, sadly. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm going to get a 302 glue. This. This will basically kill the... The blue ones, right? However, the ones that... Uh... Oh, they didn't. Okay, good. Is this the win? Don't speak too soon. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Wait, does it? That's so laggy, you know. Let me restart. So I guess the 320 does not bypass the 300% regrow rate. I thought it might have. So I can only get two spots. Yeah, this sucks. The cooldown's so long. Blue now. Yeah, it's gotta be here, sadly. Quickly. As many as I can for this loop. So let me watch. Yeah, the, the ones that we did, Corrosive Glue, they're gone. And how much is left here? Uh, there's so little left. Could I just, like, Druid druid Lightning it, maybe? Yeah, there's only a few. A little back, too. Now what? I only have 2,600, so I'm pretty much dead, because there's no money. Oh, I can try Wallfire. Wallfire, boys. Oh, it lost your freaking Red Balloon. Unlucky. Let me try this again. 320. How many shots can I get? Three, four, five shots on things. Let me get a 302 after. I wonder if, like, the glue would be more efficient than having separate the entire way. So let me see how how little Serems is that. That's, like... Let me just see what Ice does. How much damage? 20. So there's 20 Serems left. That's how I can do the math to that. 20. How much did I have if I only kept Sniper the entire way? This looks like way more than 20. 28. Yeah, 33. So, obviously going blue first would, you know, be faster. But, then I have no money. There has to be something cheaper than a, a glue strike that would allow 320 to still kill. So, the only reason why glue strike and then 320 works is because glue strike... Does enough to get the Srams to 1 HP. I don't know if there's anything more efficient than a Glue Strike that can get, you know, evenly distributed damage that well. Three shots, four... Can I get six shots in? Only five, dang it. Sniper time on Strong. So, right now I'm gonna see how many Srams that is. One more shot. Thirteen, alright. Progress. Only thirteen to go. If I was able to get six shots with the glue there, I think I would have been down to like six or seven. I think there's a good way I can try to get um more things glued, is that if I space the SRAMs out, do you think that's spaced out enough? I just put it in a weird spot so it would like uh hit balloons at different times. So that's a little longer of a line, right? Let's get glue now. Alright, so how many shots? Two shots, three, four, five, six. Seven. All right. That's good. Sniper time. Strong. Oh, this will be close. But again, there's no money if I sell the sniper. Uh, it's not gonna work. Oh, I can remove that for two more shots. That'll be down to like four shots. Sell now. Ten left. Uh, that would have got me down to eight. That's still not close enough. Let me put the three two zero in a better spot because I think I was putting it too high last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think the earlier you put the glue in the track, well, obviously the earlier you get Sniper. So, uh, maybe that's something I could do. Oh, remove this too. Alright, how close? Sell this. Four. Four left. Uh, but I'm out of money, guys. There's no, like, leeway with that. I think what I gotta do is find a way to get eight shots with, uh... The 320. So find like the craziest glue strike spot you'll ever see in your life. Like maybe here. Let me just see how spread apart I can make it. Like maybe targeting two. Alright, that's kind of wacky. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove this. Alright, oh, I removed this so I only have 700 bucks. Rip. Uh, seven. Yeah, but it didn't do a difference. Let me try this spot. Really weird, but again, we'll go with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I get eight? Oh, I got eight. I sold slow, though. Strong. Okay, this is promising. I think we might have it. It looks very tiny. Super tiny clump. Come on. I, I couldn't tell if that was just one or two. 
but that was incredibly close. And I think that I think that I can do it. I think that can work. Okay, what did I do last time? Did I do this? Yeah, I think this is better. It's a little space, but whatever. Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is early. There we go. So I'm gonna remove this. Put it back on first. Uh, oh, that looks so tiny. Should I try to ice, or should I just pray that's enough? Nice, that's enough. So I didn't have to do anything special. Just three towers. Blue strike, three two zero, and then sniper. But very optimized. I had to put the again. The first blue strike had to be in a place that would separate, you know, the pack. So I have more time for my. Uh, Dissolver to hit more balloons. Eight shots was all I needed. By the way, GG. Good challenge, I would say. Definitely a tough one.